Hey everybody! Welcome to How To Videos with Dr. Amy Gates. Today we're going to look at a two-way ANOVA test and then how to run that two-way ANOVA test in SPSS and finally how to analyze the results. Because this How To on two-way ANOVAs is pretty long, it's actually going to be in two parts. So this is part one and part two will be on a separate video. So let's get started. In this case, we're going to be looking at a two-way ANOVA, sometimes called a factorial ANOVA. In this case, we call it a two-way ANOVA because we're going to be looking at two independent variables and one dependent variable. In this case, I have a class of students. I have 20 students total, and I'm wondering whether these how-to videos that I make for my students is actually affecting their total class points. In other words, are they helping? Are they making a significant difference? I'm also going to look at the gender. I'm wondering if my different genders are actually doing differently in my course, and I'm also wondering if my different genders prefer different types of video access. So in a two-way ANOVA, we have two independent variables and one dependent variable. My first independent variable is called video access. It's separated into three independent groups. Group one are the students in my class that watch all of my videos. That's one per week. Group two is the students in my class that watch half of my videos. So that's one every other week. And group three is the group of my students who have no access to my videos, so they don't watch any of them. My second independent variable is gender. This is separated into two groups. Group one are my male students. Group two are my female students. Finally, my dependent variable, or what I'm looking at here, is my total class points. I'm using total class points to measure the success of my students in my class. And again, I'm wondering, is video access, is gender, or are the interaction between the two somehow significantly affecting the total class points of my students? Again, I'm going to be using a two-way ANOVA here because I have two independent variables. Let's look at my null hypotheses and my alternative hypotheses. In this case, there are actually several, and this is an important point. Because I have two independent variables that I'm looking at, I need to make sure that I've written out all of my proper null hypotheses. My first null is that there's no significant difference in my mean total class points for all three of my video access groups. So this hypothesis is testing whether or not video access significantly affects total class points. That's my first null. And of course, the null hypothesis is always that there's no difference, that my research isn't making any difference, there's no significant difference in total class points with respect to any of the three video access groups. My second null hypothesis is that there's no significant difference in mean total class points between my genders. So that's for my second independent variable, which is gender. In this case, my null tells me it doesn't matter whether my student is male or female. The way they're doing in my class is not significantly different. Finally, my third null hypothesis deals with the interaction between my two independent variables, gender and video access. It's possible, for example, that my male students prefer to watch only some of the videos, but my female students actually do better when they watch all the videos, and so on. So my third null hypothesis is that there's no significant interaction or difference between video access and gender. All of my null hypotheses represent no significant difference or interaction, meaning that my video access, my gender, or my interaction between them actually has no significant difference between what's going on. Now my research hypotheses, my HAs, are all of my significant differences. So my first research hypothesis, which is going to correspond to my first null hypothesis, is that there is a significant difference in mean total points between my three video access groups. 
In other words, maybe watching these videos does significantly affect total class points. Maybe even watching half of the videos affects total class points, and so on. Notice that my null and alternative 1 are connected. This is null hypothesis 1, which tells me there's no difference in the mean total class points between my video access groups. But my research hypothesis 1 says there is a significant difference for my mean total class points between my three video access groups. The same is going to be true for my second research hypothesis, or HA2. Remember, my null 2 was that there's no difference in my total points for my genders. But my research hypothesis is that there is a significant difference in my mean total points between my genders. Finally, my third research hypothesis is that there is a significant interaction between my two independent variables of video access and gender. In other words, the genders differ with respect to video access and how they're doing in total class points, and that difference is significant. So I've got three null hypotheses and then the corresponding three alternative or research hypotheses. Again, they're labeled accordingly. H01 is no significant difference between video access, but HA1, there is a significant difference for video access. All right, now that we know what our two independent variables are, our dependent variable, and all of our null and alternative hypotheses, we can open SPSS and see how to run this test. Let's get that started, but halfway through, I'm going to close out this how-to video and start part two. All right, let's close this off as well, and let's come to our data set. Our data set has student numbers. I've got 20 students in my data set and their total class points, which go up to 1,000. So here's all the different points. My genders, one represents a male student, two represents a female student, and my video access. One represents access every single week. Two represents access only every other week. And three represents no access at all. So using this data set, and given what we just saw with our null and alternative hypotheses, our goal is to run SPSS to determine whether or not we can accept or reject any of these three null hypotheses. All right, that's going to close out part one of our two-way ANOVA how-to video. And in a moment, I'm going to finish this up by starting part two.